Well, good morning, guys. How are we? We're back out again. We're back out bottle digging. Whew. What a dig, what a dig. <laughs> you can see I'm in over my head. <laughs> About six feet. I'm on the bottom. Thank God. <laughs> Seriously, some of these digs, you would not believe how far we dig to get what we get. And uh, yeah, I finally reached the bottom. I've not found anything yet. So we're going to have a dig in the bottom. And I'll get back to you guys in the first hit. It has been one hell of a task to get there <laughs> but I'm there uh, over on the back I started in the hole over there I got to about a feet and a half of clay and I thought <laughs> no more <laughs> ain't knocking through that straight into the hole where you found the rare cream pot so that's what I did this morning I'm in the, the kind of hole where I found the rare cream pot you might have seen that the Imperial Glasgow worth a few quid that 250 to 300 pound beautiful beat that that beats 20 cream pots for any dump and uh, yeah, beats 20 gods for me as well because it's rare. I might never ever find one of them again. And uh, moving on, I'll get back to you guys in the first hit. You see all that sludgy orange stuff down there? That's a really bad burning layer, but that's where everything's coming from. I have got my first cup. I can now get the tea on. Would you have a cup of tea at that? <laughs> Certainly no, I wouldn't. Uh, then we've got a wee blander that's come out. Medicine bottle probably. Then we've got a little. I think well some of these are Moncrief but this one's just a plain one in very good condition normally I wouldn't take them but I'm going to take that one because I've not got one to display so yeah I'll put it beside my Moncrief that I got in Edinburgh well the next one out we're having a severely hard dig not a lot coming out by the way it's a little clay pipe and then I got what I think is a green I think it's lavender bottles am I right in saying that I think I can't remember I found one in a previous dump with one of the guys and I'm pretty sure that uh, it's a lavender bottle but yeah I'll take that with me they're welcome anytime they're nice well this big beautiful beer bottles came out I think it's AG Bar and Go it is didn't know they made beer back in the day it's hard to see but I'll get it cleaned up it says AG Bar Glasgow Bar and Co Glasgow big beer bottle mint condition beautiful maybe it's like that in my collection actually because I've not got one of them so yeah I've got a wee collection of beers but <laughs> I've, I've ended up with about 25 different beers so far so I'm pretty chuffed with that so I'll keep that as a wee selection yeah that one's going into my collection nice this is shipyard material for back in the day would have been sherry ball they'd all been up in that the cranes and they were all drunk back in the day in the shipyards <laughs> There you go, it's a classic sign of burning again. You can see it's all warped and melted inside. And that's a little half bottle, maybe like whiskey or something like that. Nice. Next one out is just a wee bland medicine. I then got a, I think it's a sauce. Very rare to see them blank, by the way. That's unusual, nothing on it at all. A blank sauce. And then I got this one out, look at this, Dr. Castles, tablets, what do you think was in that, was it hard on pills, <laughs> Dr. Castles, tablets, <laughs> yeah, Dr. Castles, sorry, Dr. Castles, tablets, nice, that's a pure heartbreaker, honest to god, look at that, jug missing, Handle missing off a four crown whiskey jug. Heartbreaker! It's cracked anyway, but at the end of the day, that is a really nice find. Look at that. Four crown whiskey. Ah, heartbreaker. I'd have took that home in a heartbeat and displayed it. Nice four crown, four crown whiskey jug. Nice. Gutted about the handle, but yeah. I'm pretty sure there must be more stuff like that down there. Everything's right on the bottom. All the way down, right? What happens is in this dump is you go through these light bulb embers because it's obviously been light bulbs dumped at some point, and then underneath it is just like pure the bottom, and that's where all the burning and that's where everything good is. It's just in that layer in there, it's like a meter, probably just less than a meter in depth, and you're, you're scraping off clay for the bottom. And uh, yeah, I'm surprised there's not more came from there, but we'll keep going. Still got about half an hour left, and we'll just see what we can get. 
Well, here we go, some more out. We've got a wee sauce bottle that's come out. Mm -hmm. Loads and loads of plants on the bottom. Another little. 